Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 8. Today we're going to be talking about the return of two major characters, among a couple of other things. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So in an article that TV Line posted, they gave a little preview of their upcoming big issue where they're going to be covering some more spoilers in regards to all of your favourite shows, including The Flash, obviously, and that's the topic of today's video. So they had a little segment in this article, and I'll link it below. And basically, this segment teased about what's going to be coming up in this next season that hasn't been announced already. Much has been revealed about the five-episode Armageddon event that opened season eight, Barry and Co. will team with Black Lightning, Arismir Smoke, Batwoman and others against both aliens and an Eobard Thorn slash Damian Dark Alliance, and showrunner Eric Wallace isn't inclined to spoil much more, other than to say there is a substantial level of scale and spectacle right out of the gate that we weren't able to achieve last year due to COVID restrictions, but in previewing Season 8 as a whole, Wallace confirmed the return of Speedster Kids, Bart and Nora, as well as Kristen Kramer, who has a lot to deal with upon realising her meta-mimicking skills, and teased a villain who will force Team Flash to face their mortality in a highly personal and ultimately terrifying way. And there's also a bonus spoiler, Wallace said that Joe West is going to be getting an incredibly different perspective on life, and it will lead him to making a really big choice, one that dwarfs last season's decision to turn in his badge. Okay, so that's a lot of teasing in one short paragraph, but let's go through it bit by bit. Obviously, we know about the Armageddon crossover. There is actually a little piece of information that we didn't know. We know that we have Despero coming. He is the main villainous threat. We also knew that Eobard Thorn would be showing up and Damien Dark, but we didn't know that they would be working together. Here, Eric Wallace reveals that Eobard Thorn and Damien Dark will be making an alliance and they will be working together once again. Obviously, we've seen that in the past with the Legion of Doom on Legends of Tomorrow, but here it seems like they are joining together, but it's the Tom Kavanagh version of Reverse Flash, so I presume he does have memories of when they teamed up in the past, and so it's interesting to see that we have like two different sets of villains, but obviously it seems like Despero is going to be the main villain overall. And then Eric also goes on to say that there is a level of scale and spectacle right out of the gate that they weren't able to achieve last year in this crossover. Obviously we are expecting this, this is a crossover even though they are very against calling it a crossover event. They call it the five episode Armageddon event, that's what they've been calling it. So it's like, not to hype up people too much, but still to get them excited, but without saying the word crossover, which I still find a bit weird. But yeah, it's going to be big, it's going to be, you know, aliens from outer space battling our superheroes, and that's pretty much what constitutes a big event. Okay, so in previewing Season 8 as a whole, Wallace confirmed the return of Speeds the Kids, Bart and Nora. Now this is the main thing I wanted to talk about in this video because we weren't told right out of the gate if they would be returning. But now with Eric Wallace's official confirmation, we can theorise about when they're going to return and their story. So I think Bart and Nora West Allen will return later in the season given Eric Wallace's as a whole comments in regards to this preview. It doesn't fit in with the Armageddon section basically. So we know that the season won't start out exactly where it left off as it was quite unfinished in regards to the two Tornado Twins, although they're not twins on the TV show, but people have been calling them that. And so they didn't get their proper goodbye, so it obviously suggested at the end of the season that there was more coming. And so with them not being included in any of the Armageddon previews, it's pretty damn certain that we're going to see them later in the season, and him previewing the season as a whole hints towards that. And so pretty much we know that how the episode or how the season is going to open is we're probably going to jump forward in time. There's probably going to be a big time jump, similar to what they do most seasons. Obviously, last season was a bit different because of COVID and they had to cut the previous season short. And so, you know, we just continued on from there with the Eva storyline. But this year, we're probably starting from scratch. We're going to have this big Armageddon crossover event but it doesn't seem like it's going to continue right from where we left off, otherwise we would be seeing Barcelona 
and we would get some sort of mini conclusion that would tease them returning later. But in this case, I think it's going to be a bit inconclusive at the start of the season in regards to Bart and Nora, but they will return later in the season as confirmed by Eric Wallace, which is very, very exciting because they did make a big mark and fans are very excited to see them return together at some point. And so it's likely that Bart and Nora will play into the latter half of the season and whatever big threat Team Flash is facing against, they're going to be helping out once again. And perhaps again, it could be something to do with the future or a villain that is somehow linked to them. Maybe more linked to Nora could be an opportunity to explore something. And so even if it's less connected than say Godspeed, who was ultimately not Barry's main villain, but Bart's very own reverse Flash, so definitely they're going to play a part in taking down the second half of the season villain. And I'm a bit confused how they're going to be structuring season 8 as a whole because you have the 5 part crossover event at the start of the Flash. And then you are going into like the final, I don't know, like 3 to 4 episodes of the first half of the season. Are you going to have like a mini villain there? Or are they going to continue and use that villain that they set up in those episodes as the villain for the back half? I would suggest that is the better idea, especially because they're taking five whole episodes for one specific villain, that being Despero. So why not take the whole rest of the season and learn from your mistakes in the past season where you had God's people like four episodes or something like that and have a villain that is around for much longer. I think that would be the best idea and I hope that happens. Okay, so in regards to what else Eric Wallace says in this interview, Kristen Kramer is going to be coming back and she's got a lot to deal with upon realising her new powers, you know, to do with her mimicking matters. There's been some recent set photos showing the actor who plays Kristen Kramer on the set, so she's definitely back. I reckon she's going to be in like a bunch of episodes. I don't think it's going to be like a one episode and done thing because they've made her into a big character and I think they're going to properly try and finish off her storyline and in regards to the tease villain that Eric Wallace teases he says they will force Team Flash to face their mortality in a highly personal and ultimately terrifying way. Now I'm not going to specifically say who I think this villain is because we talked about this so many times that I'm sure you guys know the usual names Cobalt Blue, Red Death, blah 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 like it's the same old same old we don't know However, you know, the fact that it's highly personal, we've said this before, it definitely hints towards a potential Cobalt Blue reveal as a villain. That's because it would be probably Eddie Thorne and that would be highly personal, especially for most of Team Flash who were there originally. Obviously, Cisco's not there, but Caitlyn's still there, Iris is there, obviously Iris got the deepest connection with Eddie, and also Barry's there and Joe and everyone else, so it definitely would affect Team Flash and maybe f make them face their mortality because they realize, oh crap, like Eddie's alive, what the hell is happening here? And so also Joe West is going to be getting an incredibly different perspective on life that will lead him to make a really big choice. I don't know what this is going to be, obviously the character is going to be changing a bit and it's going to be even bigger than his decision last season to turn in his badge and that was like the ultimate thing for Joe, so what could be even bigger? I don't know if he's hyping it up too much or if it'll actually turn out to be big. We'll have to just tune in and wait and see. But yeah, let's move on to the next thing. It was also teased recently that Iris will be dealing with her time sickness and this again was from TV Line. So she'll be dealing with it for the whole season. Now it's not going to be like a one episode and done thing. That's what we kind of all thought was happening, especially because they didn't even reference it in the finale and we were like okay so they needed an explanation for why Candace wasn't on set for like three or four episodes so let's go with something like time sickness where she had to be out of the timeline and Barry just thought she was ill but no there's something bigger to it and obviously we were waiting for them to explain why the hell this time sickness thing is happening since nothing literally happened to her like she was just normally living her life but somehow she's involved in the timeline and you know she's phasing in and out and getting these terrible headaches that you saw when Dion brought her back and Barry reunited. So I'm very surprised and I'm gonna be honest I'm not that interested in the storyline because 
we know the context behind this and we kind of know that it is just an excuse to kind of cover up something and I mean nothing against Candace, everyone needs time off, you know, and it's a proper thing that is definitely needed, so no shade thrown her way, I just think it was a storyline that was made to cover up for something, and so I think maybe fans are going to take into account and be like, okay, so th what was the real point of this storyline, kind of like what they did with Godspeed, because they were supposed to have another villain at the start of, I believe, season 6, when you had the Godspeed clones showing up for the first time, but instead they were like, oh, we can't afford this person, so let's put Godspeed in, and we'll figure out what happens like a year later. And obviously it did turn out kind of for the best, because the Godspeed stuff was the most interesting things last season. However, that was something that was put in in order to kind of make up for something else, and I feel like this is a similar situation, and I don't know, I just feel like they should have maybe wrapped it up in one episode, or they should wrap it up like after the crossover in one episode, but no, instead we are doing this for the whole season, Eric Wallace teases. I think it's quite extensive and it's either going to be a hit or it's going to be a miss, but we'll have to wait and see. I'm not throwing shade at anyone here because I'm a big Flash fan and I think it's going to be good either way, so we'll have to wait and see, but for now, Thank you guys so much for watching, if you did enjoy the video please be sure to leave a like and a comment, it really helps out the channel if you do that, subscribe and turn on notifications if you are new so you don't miss any videos, you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video, but for now, I'll catch you guys later, goodbye. I see red.